Hi there, it's me again. So, um, welcome to my new video. Today, uh, I want to share with you six tips on how to become a minimalist one bag traveler. But uh, before I begin, I must uh, put a little disclaimer. Uh, when I refer to a minimalist one bag, I refer to a 30 liter bag or backpack or less. Um, because the main goal, uh, the main reason, at least for me, to go one bag is to go lightweight and uh, to increase my mobility. So uh, that I can, uh, for instance, if I arrive my destination at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. and uh, my check-in at the hotel is uh, only uh, later, um, for instance, at 12, I can uh, bring all my belongings with me and start exploring my new destination. This is uh, my main advantage, uh, the advantage that I most value in uh, being one bag traveler. So uh, let's see um, the six tips that I have for you today. First of all, uh, reduce the amount of clothes. First of all, uh, checking the weather at your destination is crucial, uh, of course, to choose your clothes wisely. Uh, for me, for any destination, either it will be a week of travel or a month of travel, I apply the rule of three, meaning uh, I will choose a maximum three outfits and maximum three pairs of shoes. Uh, one I'll be wearing on the go and the other two I'll be packing. Uh, you don't need more uh, than that um, because you always be, wherever you are, you will always be able to do laundry and wash your clothes in the sink, in the shower or uh, in a laundromat. I often uh, wash my clothes in the sink and have a, a few strategies to dry them. Um, you can hang them uh, on a chair inside your bedroom or in a balcony if you have one. You can put them on hangers uh, inside or outside of your bedroom. You can use a clothesline, no need for clothes pin pins uh, if you do it like this. Uh, you can turn your air conditioner or your heater on and easily dry it inside. And um, in winter, I usually use uh, a technique of rolling my clothes uh, in a bath towel uh, to extract the most of its moisture and then uh, hang it to dry uh, in uh, one of the other uh, options. Um, if it's not um, dry enough uh, or uh, starts to dry most of it, uh, I just use, if I have one, an air dryer to finish the process. For me, uh, some closest materials are best for traveling than others. Uh, as I experienced, uh, if you can, you should go for fast drying fabrics like synthetic ones or uh, wool. Uh, it will make, will make your uh, task of laundry easier. Uh, please don't choose cotton, especially uh, if you go in winter, if you travel in winter, because cotton uh, will absorb lots of moisture and takes uh, longer to dry. Uh, besides it, uh, if you stay too long on cotton wet clothes, you will start uh, to be cold sooner and even shivering in winter. So um, for me, synthetic materials and wool are the best for traveling. Last uh, but not least, uh, wear your bulky uh, clothes on the go and if something uh, is needed, uh, remember that all over the world people dresses every day so there will be clothes to shop wherever you are. Second tip, 
uh, use the toiletries of the hotel or go for solid toiletries. Uh, if you can, if your skin uh, condition allows you, uh, just use the toiletries of the hotel. It will save you uh, much room in your bag, especially for the ladies. Um, if not, uh, just go for solid toiletries. Uh, they will last you longer. Uh, they will be cheaper on the long run. Uh, they don't spill all over your luggage. And uh, of course, they are more eco-friendly. Um, you can find uh, solid toiletries for all kind of uh, your skin, uh, hair and uh, all kind of purposes. So um, this is uh, my second tip. Third tip, uh, use multi-purpose items. Uh, you can use, uh, for instance, baking soda as deodorant. Uh, you can use it for absorbing the smell on your shoes and wash them less often or uh, you can use baking soda as a face exfoliator. Um, you can also use a sarong. Um, it could be used as a bath towel or a beach towel. You can use it as a skirt, as a dress, as a blanket, as a scarf, as a beanie. Uh, you choose. Uh, you can use a multi-purpose item like a spork. Um, a spoon and a fork in one, two in one. Uh, you can use an insulated water bottle for cold and hot drinks. And if it's got a white mouth, you can even do noodles in there. Uh, you can use a soap bar for your face, your body and your hair, or a moisturizer for lips, face, hands, and even for your body, um, one for all. You can use um, a convertible pens um, as pens and as uh, shorts. Uh, you choose. First tip, unless you are going to a fancy event, forget the extra day pack or purse. Uh, if you have a 20 liter backpack or less, you can just empty it when you arrive at the hotel and go out with it as a day pack. Or you can choose, like me often, uh, to have clothes with uh, zippered pockets where I can put all my essentials to go out or just use a reusable grocery bag instead. Once uh, I even reused a toiletry pouch, uh, drew some holes and put a string on it and it became a purse to go explore my destination. Fifth tip, uh, reduce the amount of technology. Do you really need your computer to go travel? Uh, do you need your camera or iPad? Or can you manage to go without uh, these things and just with your phone? Just think wisely. Sixth and last tip, don't overpack food on the go. Unless you are going for a 12-hour trip without stops, uh, there's no need to overload your bag with uh, food and drinks on the go. Um, because you can always uh, refill your food and drinks at uh, the stops in the middle of your journey. And this is kind of a reminder to me um, because I always tended to uh, make this uh, mistake. Um, first, I think that I carry too much food and drink because I can stand to be hungry and thirsty. Uh, I deal uh, very bad with it. Um, second, because I'm kind of frugal and I hate to spend money on overpriced food on bus stops, airports and train stations. Uh, all the foods are overpriced and I hate to spend my money like that. Um, third, uh, because since I'm a vegan, um, most of the times I have no vegan options at those uh, locals. So um, 
that's why I think I tend to overpack uh, foods and drinks on the go. But for the last years, I try to remind myself before I go travel that uh, stock on your stomach and not on your backpack. Um, meaning that, uh, for instance, if I go travel at 10 a.m., I just uh, take a double breakfast at home before I go. And uh, so that's the way uh, I'm dealing with it. Well, that's all for today. Uh, hope you find this video useful in any way. Um, thank you for watching and uh, if you like my content, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, thank you again for watching and I'll be back with another, with another video uh, maybe soon.